Eran las 5 de la mañana Un seminarista, un obrero Con mil papeles de solvencia Que no le dan pa' ser sinceros Eran las 7 de la mañana Y uno por uno al matadero Pues cada cual tiene su precio Buscando visa para un sueño Hello, my name is Shaija Simple and my classmates and I are pleased to present important information and viewpoints about Latinos coming to the United States. To seek a better life, we will bring you the stories of struggling Latinos and stories of some Latinos who are living not too bad. We interview three people who are totally different but who have given us the opportunity to listen to the important reasons why they have left their families back in their countries and have entered here to the United States and come looking for their American dream and happiness. We want to remind them that because they are Latin, they do not do us any more than others. We are people and we must always be united because being Latin is pride for which we are grateful. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. What's your name and where do you come from? My name is Antonio Martinez. I'm from Dominican Republic. What was the main reason you came to the United States? Because here I had more opportunity for me and for my family too. How do you feel when you came to the United States? Not really, really good because I had too many problems for the language and for the job and for apartment. How difficult was that to learn English? Sometimes difficult because in my job everybody speaks Spanish, in my house everybody speaks Spanish, and I never go to the school. Are you planning to stay in the United States or go back to your country? Yes, maybe in the next five, six years I coming back to my country. All right, thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello, sir. How you doing? What's your name? Where you come from? I'm good. My name is Eric. I come from Ecuador. How did you get to the U.S. and how old were you at the time? I was eight years old when, I, when my uncle told me we were going to see my parents. We went from Colombia all the way to Central America before finally arriving in Mexico, leaving the hardest world ahead, which is crossing the border. How did you feel to come to the U.S.? It was very rough at first, but with time, I began to settle in. Going from living in the mountains to a very populated city in New York. At first I was very unhappy, but reunited with my family, it brought joy to me. Uh, what were the reasons you had to migrate to the U.S.? Well, my parents had left me living with my grandmother in poverty to work and make money. My parents would send money to us. My parents had bigger expectations for me, like a better education and to become someone in life. Did you have any difficulties learning English, sir? At first it was very difficult. I had a rough time pronouncing certain words, but once I got put into public school, I made it my goal to learn and speak English correctly. With time and help from my teachers, I'm pronouncing, I began to speak fluently. Although my struggles learning English, hearing kids in my school speak it, it became easier until I felt more comfortable speaking English rather than Spanish. What is your name? Where you come from? My name is Josefina Garcia. Um, what was the main reason why you decided to leave your country and come to the United States besides money? The reason is like everybody else, I would like to have a great future. Okay. How do um, you came to the United States? Well, I consider the private because I'm illegal right now and I don't want uh, to discuss my privacy. Okay, I understand. So how long have you been living in the United States? I've been living for 30 years. 30 years? Okay. So what was the main, what was the most difficult part of establishing a new life in this country? Racist. Racist. How come? Because everybody looks at you like 
you are a stranger and didn't get the same help that you think you're gonna get. It. Yeah. So how how difficult was it to learn the official language? Well, like when you go and you come to another country, it's really difficult because you're not a kid no more. So it's really difficult that you can learn the language of that country. Hey, my name is Karen and I would like to thank you for being a part of our research. We have learned so much from just these three hardworking human beings. They have showed us that it doesn't matter the risk you take as long as you achieve your goal in the end. It's very hard to migrate to another country where you don't have anyone to lean on. But the circumstances is what makes us grow as humans with a more open mindset to what life really has to offer. We are truly inspired by these people. In Spanish say, no hay peor lucha que la que no se hace. So if you really want something, don't give up until you have it. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed our clip. I'm